All right, we are finally ready to uh, plug in all of our electronics. The printer should be fully assembled, and uh, then we can begin our testing. But let's dive right in. First, we are going to go over what we've already looked at. We have our Arduino covered up by our RAMS board. The power supply is already connected, as we did earlier. Our stepper drivers are already in the X, Y, and Z positions and also E0. Uh, if you were to ever retrofit it for a second extruder, you would use E1 for that. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and plug in our end stops first. So we have our x-axis end stop. It will go where we showed earlier with the end stops. There's an S minus and a plus. Uh, if you remember, our red is our COM, so it'll go in the minus position, and the NC, the blue wire, will go in the S position. Alright, we'll take our Y and stop, which once again, S will be the NC, and the red will be the COM in the negative. Now, if you remember, we said that we we're going to use every other port. So X will go in the first port, and Y will go in the third one. Now for our Z end stop, it'll go in the fifth position. Red in the middle, blue on the S. All right, that's our end stops all plugged in. Next we are going to do our motors. We'll go ahead and grab the Z motor since it's right here. Uh, if you remember blue, or I'm sorry, green and black was our 2B and 2A. They are going to go in one. Right, we'll grab the other Z motor on this end. Bring it all the way around. Underneath. And put it on the other. Now both these Z motors are using the same driver because they're both going to step at the same time. Uh, we'll grab our extruder motor. Which is tangled up with another motor. Okay, we're going to plug it in to E0. We will grab now our X motor. Actually, let's do the Y real fast since it's right here. we'll do the X. Alright, that settles that. Okay, now we're going to do our thermistors, which we could have done before the motors, but we'll use our extruder thermistors that have been crimped and put into a two-pin Molex connector. Stick them in the T0 spot, right here, next to the Z motor. And our bed thermistor, we have to loop it around and put it in the T1 spot, right underneath. Alright, so we have our two thermistors, which are going to tell our computer how we are heating up and if we're heating up properly. And lastly, we are going to connect our ceramic cartridge heater and our bed. 
So the ceramic cartridge heater is going to go in these two ports up here in the top, the blue ones, D10 and plus. They will go in just like the power supply did. You open up the port and then screw them in. So tighten this up. Now remember to strip off the insulation before you put these in so the wires are exposed. Okay, and last the bed. Uh, we have two negatives on the bed, so we're going to do D9 and D8 are the two negatives, and then the white will be in the positive section. Stick our white in the positive. And our last black in D8, which will be our negative. All right, we just finished plugging in all of the electronics, and there's one last thing we have to do. Uh, if you remember, there are two negatives and one positive wire coming from the bed, but on the ramps board, there are spots for two positives and two negatives. So we need to fix this in balance, and basically we're just going to do that by cutting a short length of 18-gauge wire and looping it through from one positive to the other, uh, as you see right here at this small white loop. But that's going to go ahead and cancel out that uh, imbalance. Uh, after that, we went ahead, tied up our wires, neatened up the uh, printer a little bit. But uh, it's complete. We have all of our axes attached, our wires plugged in. Uh, none of the movements are restricted by the uh, wires being tied up. So we're going to go ahead and load up our softwares and get to testing. But that will conclude the uh, building portion of the uh, kit and we appreciate you watching but stick around for the testing.